What's up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this Windows 10 mobile review on the Nokia. Did I just say that again? I'm, I just can't get that tongue twister off me. The Microsoft Illumia 640. Mine's a baby blue case. Now this is just a case for a quick, but it's booting up. It was just a case. You can change these colors out on the Lumia 640, but that is besides the case, pun intended. Let's go over to the front, and you can see I have the AT&T Go phone version. As you can see, we are on Windows 10 real quick. Now, I have to mention, right before this video started, the thing froze up on me. When I was just trying to change the brightness like that for the video, the whole notification bar froze up on me. So... Let's go over in the settings to show you that we are on Windows 10 Mobile in this device. So let's go into System. Let's go to about below here and you're going to see right there we are on software version Windows 10 Mobile with an installed RAM of 1 gigabyte. So if I hit the Windows Home button you're going to see mostly the tiles interfaces remain the same on the Lumia 640 Go Phone for Windows 10 and the software is pretty much the same on all Windows Phone, so this is not going to be much different for you. Going over, it's a familiar look to Windows 8.1 on the, you know, on the second screen right here where you slide over. And you can also search real quick right here for whatever you want. And I want to mention in Windows 10, they have this little cursor thing right here on the keyboard, which allows you to go through kind of like a little mouse pad on the, whenever you type something up here. For example, if I'm typing all these crazy letters. Let's see, you, you see you can move through it like a mouse real quick. So that's another neat trick that is in this Windows 10. I have to say overall, it seems like it's just a visual interface change overall, kind of like a fresh coat of paint on top of Windows 8.1, but also it is more like the computer version, but a mobile-fied version of the computer version of Windows 10. As you can see, all these icons are similar to the ones that you're gonna see in the action bar on your desktop PC, or your laptop so you have connect to like devices battery saver flashlight note vpn location airplane mode camera cellular data mobile hotspot quiet hours high wi-fi connection bluetooth rotation lock and all settings you can also go halfway just to show that or go all the way up you can slide down and you can collapse those down to four quick shortcuts, which you could also change in the setting, the top four shortcuts you want. And then, well, let's, let's check out the settings real quick. So if we go into the settings, you're gonna see we have system, devices, network, personalization. And this settings menu is a lot cleaner in Windows uh, 10 mobile. So we have some extras here, glance, glance screen, extras and info, Lumia motion data, rate your device, touch, but I don't want to get into every one of these features. I kind of just want to show you in this video what you can expect in Windows 10. Um, I think it's a lot cleaner and you're just going to want to play around with all the features in here. There's a whole bunch. But if you look at the calculator, it's very similar to the calculator that is on your Windows 10 PC. Like I say, this whole thing is trying, Microsoft is trying to get this as a unified operating system, meaning every operating system is just very unified and, you know, they all look similar. So if you hit the... Um, the letters, you'll see that the letters now look a little bit different. It's a lot cleaner in my opinion. So overall, I'm very impressed with the way Windows 10 looks on here. It looks very pretty on this, even this very affordable phone was, that's go, that was going really cheaply on Black Friday. It looks even better now with this Windows 10 update. However, I've been using it for a week and I got to tell you that it's been pretty glitchy and buggy. It's not the most uh, fluid UI that I've seen up from Windows. It's kind of a disappointment coming from the very refined and polished 8.1. But the biggest problem in this whole entire Windows Phone OS, and I'm sure you've heard it millions of times before, and it's probably the reason why you're checking out this video, is to see if there's more apps in the Windows Store. Now, the Windows Store, once again, like everything else I've been saying in this video, looks very similar to the computer, although I'm in the dark theme, so on your PC, you might see the light version. This is the exact same store that you'll see on your Surface Pro or your laptop or whatever Windows device you're using. But, um, yeah, see, there's some bugs right there. We can't even scroll down. So, you see, I'm hitting the home button. I'm kind of frozen there. So, the bugs throughout this system are just, you know... They're, it's buggy, and yes, this is a technical preview, but I've been seeing the same bugs on the, the Lumia 950 reviews people have been talking about. So I don't think it's technically just because it's a technical preview. 
Um, I think they do need to work out a lot of kinks on this Windows 10 OS. But overall, the app selection is still eh, it's still not there. They got all the core apps, but they haven't been updated in over a year. Even the core apps, people aren't really, you know, putting effort into them. So like Kindle, for example, hasn't been updated in like a year. Amazon Kindle app, everybody reads on the Kindle app. And if you don't read on the Kindle app, there's not even a YouTube app to watch videos if you don't like reading. The Netflix app is very old, <laughs> you know, it's just... A lot of the apps just need some updating. And that's really what's killing the Windows Mo Mobile OS for me. I don't know about you. If you still enjoy it, let me let, comment down below about um, if you're cool with the apps and you don't really need anymore. But for me, I think the game changer will be if Windows allows Android apps onto their phone. If they do that, this phone's going to be killer. So, yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to expect on the Windows 10 side of your Lumia 640 or any other Lumia that you're going to be updating, it's going to be very similar to the Windows 10 version on your PC or your, um, you know, tablet. So if you go into settings, you go into system, you go on display, you're going to see, not display, you're going to go on the personalization, you go into colors. I noticed they added a whole bunch more colors down here. So <laughs> there's a lot more colors to, you know, customize with. Let's do a little Barney purple real quick. So as you can see now it's Barney purple, but you know, there's a, there's a lot of little neat things in here and it's a very polished and refined looking OS, just very buggy and glitchy right now. So I would say if you're ready to update to windows 10, if you're really geeky and you just like, you know, you got to have the latest and greatest, go ahead and, you know, watch my video on how to update it. I'll leave that link up in a card or in the description down below and go ahead and update it, play around with it. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're one of those people who just want a very stable and smooth OS, wait a while because this is not very up to date and um, in terms of bugs and all that, they need to fix out a lot of bugs. So I would just stay on 8.1 if I was you if you want a really stable operating system. And all the apps are the same on 8.1 right now. So you're not going to really change in apps. All you're really getting is a visual change here and a few little features here and there. But I don't think this is a big enough change for uh, Microsoft yet to really change the game. I still think they're going to hover around three to 5% of the market share when they start getting apps on here from Android, or they start getting developers to hop on board and make a bunch of great apps for their operating system. They will be right up there with iOS and Android. So basically that's my review on the um, Lumia 640 Windows 10 mobile. It was kind of more of a software review rather than the Lumia 640. So let me just point out three things about the Lumia 640. Battery life is good, number one, on Windows 10 Technical Preview. Number two, um, the operating system performs a good, solid 7 out of 10. There's three points taken off for some of the bugs. And number three, the camera still performs excellent. You still get that Lumia camera with all the, you know, beautiful features that come with it. ISO and all that stuff for photographers and things like that. So camera's on point still. Um, performance is good, not great. And battery life is still pretty great on the Lumia 640. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much that little review or little mini my take impressions, whatever you guys want to call it. I mean, I titled it, but whatever. Um, that's pretty much it on this Lumia from Microsoft 640 Go Phone review for Windows 10 Mobile. I will probably update this review in the future if they fix some of the bugs and uh, it really gets more up to par with how I want it to perform. But until then, this is pretty much what I got for you guys. This is pretty much what you can expect out of your Lumia 640 if you decide to do this. If this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up. Share with anybody out there who is into this geeky Microsoft Windows 10 mobile stuff or, you know, just in general want to check out the software because their Windows 8.1 is getting a little stale. Uh, share with them and if you haven't subscribed to this channel for tech videos go ahead and do that right now and check out the uh, how to install this video if you want to install this and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video peace